So, you need some five minute, you, you have, you found yourself with a five minute block of time. You need to move your body. Here are some simple moves you can do, okay? Pistol squats. Now, if you happen to have a chair or a bench, great, okay? out of the way. So what I want you to do, if you're using a chair or a bench, start off by sitting on it, okay? Your feet should be parallel, okay, to the ground, all right? How about up 90 degrees? This is your starting point, okay? A lot of people start off this move incorrectly and then it just goes downhill. So this is your start. This is how far apart your feet need to be from the bench or chair that you're using, okay? So, when you stand up, you know you're gonna, your butt is gonna hit whatever you happen to be sitting on. So a pistol squat is just using one leg, okay? Now, at first, if you need to tap down, you can tap down. What I want you to try to do is to try to sit just using this first leg, okay? So, heel, the pressure and all of your balance and everything that's going to go through the bottom of your heel. You are going to sit and now stand. Okay, push through that heel, stand up, sit, and stand. Now, you can easily do this without a bench. Okay, so I'm going to show you parallel. All right. If you are using your other foot just as a kickstand, great, okay? Squat as low as you can go, keeping your knee over your heel. You should be able to wiggle your toes, okay? On your supporting leg, and stand. Squat, and stand. It's a one-legged squat, okay? Now, as you get better, you can float that foot and not use it, okay? Don't forget to switch sides, okay? If at any point you need to keep that other foot down for stability, you do that, okay? That's a great one to do while you're at a sink, at a countertop to kind of help with balance, brushing your teeth, cooking dinner, anything like that, okay? Next one's lunges, okay? Again, sink, counter, fixing dinner in the kitchen, Waiting at the bus stop, whatever. You're going to start off, feet shoulder width apart. We're going to lunge side to side, okay? Step out and lunge, okay? And then step back in, lunge to your other side, okay? Now, when you are lunging, make sure, again, your knee is up over your heel, okay? All the weight is in that heel. Your back leg is straight. When you push off, you are pushing off through that heel to come up, okay? You could land with your toe first, plant it, knee slightly bent, sink down into it as far as you can go, okay? Now, if you're having some of the stability issues, you can certainly straddle, okay? Wide stance, and then just lunge it side to side, okay? You will still get a good stretch. You'll feel that stretch here in that inner thigh, okay? And from here, you can easily grab hold of your sink, your countertop, and you can do some simple leg raises. Side raises seem to be easier, okay? When you're doing that, again, on your stabi stabilizing leg, all of that power is through that heel, okay? You should be able to wiggle your toes at any given point, okay? Keep that other foot flexed, okay? Now, if you're a dancer, you're gonna to wanna to point your toe, that's fine, okay? Go up as high as you can, all right? Once you feel comfortable, you can move away and not use that st stabilizer, okay? Now, you can not only go side, but you can go front, and you can go back, okay? Now, if you happen to have some resistant bands, you can put those around your ankles, around your thighs, and use them. Now, going back, you aren't going to be able to go back as far, okay? 
unless you're bent over, okay, you, you aren't going to be able to do like a warrior three type of thing. Okay. So, there's some other quick ones. Fill in the bulb in the lower body. 